Hello everyone and welcome back to 35 mm Today we have a very exciting video for you all. I'm going to be showing you how to take your photos from this to this, this to this, and this to this in less than one minute. And the best part is if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it for free. So Retouch for me reached out to us to collaborate on a video. Unfortunately, we had a photographic project coming up in the studio. So it was the perfect time for this collaboration. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use their Photoshop panel to speed up your retouching workflow and cutting down by more than half the time you currently use. So let's get into the computer, let me show you the workflow and then at the end I'm going to show you how you can do this by yourself for free. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the Retouch For Me panel on three images. One is a picture that was shot outdoors, second is a picture that was shot in the studio and the third one is a beautiful photo by Tony Graffa. Thank you for letting us use this image uh, shot in the studio as well but the skin needs has a lot of details that needs to be uh, fixed in Photoshop. So we'll go to the first image and I'm going to show you two ways you can use Retouch For Me. One is how you can use it on your device and the second one is how you can use it on the cloud. So if you go to the on device section because you have two options here cloud retouch and on the device so if you go to the on the device session you can actually purchase each of these options on retouch for me's website right so but for today i'm going to be using just the portrait volume dodge and bond and here these three and you can just click on retouch and i'm going to just let you let this play out in real time for you to see how fast this works it's magic and we're about done and voila we're done and oh my goodness just look at that this is the before this is after before after and this took us all in a matter of less than a minute to run it now i need to mention that this is running locally on my computer i'm using an 2021 m1 pro macbook 16 inch uh, so it's quite beefy. So you need to keep in mind that if you're running this locally on your device, your computer has to be beefy. The more beefy, the more spec that your computer is, the faster this is going to work out. But just look at this. This was gotten in less than a minute. And another reason why I like this plugin so much is the fact that it uses dodge and burn. If you are, which I believe you are, if you're watching this video, is that as a retoucher, there are two known techniques to retouch images generally no techniques frequent separation and dodge and burn dodge and burn is seen as a more refined more high level high class model here we have ai doing it for me and doing a fantastic job with my eye just look at that dodge and burn layer beautiful non-destructive looks subtle looks good and looks really natural it doesn't overdo it and it's just beautiful to look at and the beautiful thing is because it's doing it in layers which you can set here if you come here and you click layer it's going to create all of those layers for you so it's non-destructive so you can go back and if you think it's too strong you can take it dial it back down so this is zero percent opacity this is at 50 percent opacity and these are 100 percent these are the 100 percent opacity right this is beautiful this is the jambon layer and this is the healing layer so you can see took a couple of the blemishes that needs to be fixed so i'm going to show you that right now before after before after before after and dodge and bond layer before after before after and portrait volume portrait volume is basically global dodge and bond so it just has a little bit of contrast adds a little bit of you know definition to the face and you are good to go and just again before after and all of this was done in one minute isn't that amazing from here on out you can go on add a little bit of curves to give you a little bit more de um, definition so just go a little bit this way just add a little more definition to the picture you know contrast and all that maybe dial it back down a little bit and you know color grid it to your arts content let me go um color look up let me pick i have this wonderful prince mason skin tone lot uh prince mason shout out to you <laughs> I have this wonderful Prince Mason skin tone lots. I think that's a little bit strong. Dial it back down to like say 50%. And we have before, we have after. Oof, looking gorgeous. Chocolate and caramel. Ooh -wee. So before, after, all in less than a minute. Imagine you have to do 50 of this. You just 
chunna images so that is one right and yeah uh, of course you can go on from this you can go do eyes and teeth whitening just paint it in here real quick all right that's whiten up her eyes a little bit you know and you know here we go yeah before you have after yeah before you have after this just gives you a solid base such that the heavy lifting of the retouching is done and then you can go on to being creative change the background manipulating the image the way you want liquefy all that good stuff now in this second image shot in the studio i'm going to be demoing with a cloud retouch you can see i have 51 retouches here because we actually paid for this before <laughs> Retouch for me sent us, you know, this this plugin because we really really use this and it, it's 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 amazing. Trust me. So the beautiful thing about doing the cloud retouch is that you don't have to buy each of these items. On the on device one, you have to buy each of these, and I'm going to explain the cost implications and all of those things at the end of the video. So you have to buy each of these to be able to use it. However, in the cloud retouch, you don't have to right all of this is available for you you can click on all of it use it and every time you click on retouch that is one retouch so you can see this is going to keep counting down counting down till it gets back to zero however because this is done on the cloud it's going to have to upload your images from your computer to the cloud and then retouch and then send it back to you so you have to have a strong internet connection if not you're going to spend a long time editing the images so in this one we're going to do heal to remove blemishes we don't need to do modify i think our skin looks dewy glowy enough looks good of course we're going to do dodge and burn dodge and burn is the way to go guys we're going to dodge and burn portrait volumes which is global dodge and burn uh skin tone we're going to try that out and see if i like it uh typically i prefer to do my own skin tone myself with you know skin tone lots and mana grading but let's just see for for demo purposes i vessel we're going to do that i brilliant you know that's like eye whitening uh whitening teeth we're not going to do that because she's not showing any teeth here fabric looks good backdrop looks clean and then just click on retouch and watch how long that's going to take uh again this is heavily dependent on your internet speed all right more than your computer speed so this will go faster depending on how much how good your internet is and uh, i'm just gonna wait for it to to load and voila it's done right so that took we're gonna put the time on the screen let's break this down let's break this down once again so let me zoom in so that we can see clearly what's going on so we have heal again before this is the things it took out so before after before after i like the fire it's very subtle it's it's not overly aggressive and because again these are all on each separate layer you can always go back refine it this is a very good example of what i'm talking about so she has a nose ring here and ai thought nah that is a blemish we're gonna take it out so we're just gonna come here go on our brush go to black and then just pin that back very gently right okay my flow is on 34 percent put that back on 100 percent so it's gonna pin that back very gently right so the nose ring is back so before after you don't want somebody has spent so much money on their nose ring you don't want to be taking it out <laughs> so we have that heel right then we have eye brilliance you can see before after it just brightened up the eye for us in a very natural way right look at the eye before after before after then same thing with the eye vessel eye vessel is not really doing much for us yes so i'm just gonna delete that now to the creme de la creme dodge and burn oh my goodness Woo! is this is this amazing or what like oh my god this is stunning you can see the and burn layer and this is before this is right very smooth very simple very non-destructive of course i know that if you're prince mason or prince mason's descendant <laughs> i know you can go in and do a lot more detail under the eye remove all those details but again the point i'm trying to make is this does takes you more than halfway and then you can build off of off of this right and then you know you go to the skin tone so i'm not a fan of the skin tone because i typically like to do my own skin tone um editing by myself manually right so i like the way the skin already looks so i'm not going to do any retouching or any skin toning on the skin at all then portrait volumes portrait volume is basically um global dodge and burn we have before we have after before after let me let me zoom that in real quick 
we have before we have after before after and looks gorgeous from here on out you can go fix the hair um do liquefy do manipulate this to your ads content every time you click on the retouch if you're using the the cloud retouching option you realize that this is going to reduce so you want to make sure that everything you want to use you run it at once because if you run this once and you realize that oh i want to use mattifier and you run it again that's another retouch you have lost right so you make sure that you know everything you want to do first you run it once and you're good to go it's better to run everything and decide to not use it later than not run enough and then have to burn through your credits right so that's amazing now for the third image i'm also going to use the cloud retouch option right this was shot again by tony graffer thank you so much we got this image from dirty studios website the photographer is tony graffer thank you for allowing us to use your image for demonstrative purposes really grateful this is an amazing model great skin but there's a lot of details that needs to be taken care of right here so again we're going to use the heel of course to take out you know all those details we're not going to use mattifier i'm not a huge fan of matte looks i prefer glossy glowy dewy looks uh dodge and bun of course portrait volumes of course um skin tone now nah, i'm not gonna use that this time around as well but you know what let's just let's, let's give it a try let's see what it does um eye vessel i'm not gonna use that but eye brilliance i'm gonna use that because it brightens the eyes whitening teeth we can see some teeth whitening top a little bit no fabric and then we're gonna clean up the backdrop as well i can see some details here and let's see what retouch for me is gonna do so for this image you can see again it took all in less than two minutes i believe again the faster your internet the quicker this is gonna go so let's break down each layer once again clean backdrop you can see that detail on this side is gone this this there are some blemishes that were here as well all gone all smoothing out Ooh, this is doing a fantastic job then we'll go to heal so i'm just gonna zoom in so that you can see what it's doing before after Oof, beautiful job eye brilliance see how you added life into that eye oh my god and whitening teeth very subtle very okay the jambon before after before after before and also you see that it's not just working just on the face also on the neck wherever it needs to be dodged and burned it's, it's doing a fantastic job and skin tone mm, no not really a huge fan so i'm just gonna dial it back down to like say 40 percent uh okay we have before we are right now i think somewhere there and then portrait volumes oof look at that look at that highlight and shadows coming coming alive oh my god so we we'll go from before we go after before before after before after before after and then from here let me zoom in a little bit so you can see before after before after and then from here you can go on and you know keep manipulating the image or editing the image or retouching the image to your art content oof this is a perfect example of what AI can do in your creative process. Again, like I've said a couple times, AI is not going to replace creativity, but AI can help to speed up your workflow. And this is a very good example of that in practical action. With this retouching panel, you can basically cut down your retouching time by more than half. You can get your retouching done faster. You can edit more pictures. Your client is happy. You make more money. And everybody's happy at the end of the day. Now, if you're ready to play with these two, I want to integrate into your workflow. So Retouch for me has three subscription models. One is a cloud retouch subscription model. And this allows you to pay per month, right? So for the basic, you have $20 a month that gives you 200 retouches. You have for the pro, $35 a month that gives you up to 500 retouches. And for the business, you have $90 a month that gives you up to 1,500 retouches. The second option is cloud retouch packs that allows you to buy out uh retouch credits right so you can go as low as 15 retouches for as low as three dollars or 100 retouches for as low as 12 dollars so that is the second one and the third one is you can outrightly buy out each individual item in the panel so if you're a wedding photographer i recommend that you buy the plugin outright it's quite an investment upfront but it pays for itself thanks to the fact that you are delivering hundreds of thousands of images per wedding on the flip side, if you're a portrait photographer, I recommend that you buy the cloud retouching option. One, it doesn't run locally on your computer, it runs on the cloud, so you don't have to have the most beefy computer to run it. Two, you can bill each retouch to your client. And three, you only pay for the retouch that you use. So if you pay uh, $12 for 100 images until you exhaust the 100, 100 retouches, you don't have to pay any extra fee. So that is my recommendation. And the good news is whatever 
subscription you decide to go for if you go to the link in our bio you get 25 percent off and starting from april 8th which is today richard for me is having a sale so you get an extra five percent off so you get 30 percent off using the link in our bio or you can just go to their website when you get to check out enter the promo code 35 mm lend and from april 8th for a limited time you get 30 percent off and after the sale you constantly get 25 percent off also bonus for you so stay to the end of the video if you use the link in our bio you get 20 free cloud retouching credits that is you can edit 20 photos for free on us with bonus like that try it out integrate into your workflow let us know what you think in the comment section we've used it we're blown away by it we think it's amazing we think it's great and we'll see you in the next video thank you